You wouldn't drench your corn with weed killer. Of course you wouldn't, but the odds are, if you are serving corn to your family, that is exactly what you are doing. In the US, 89% of corn is genetically modified. 94% of soy is genetically modified. 90% of canola is genetically modified. These crops have been modified by tampering with their genetic structure, by adding virus or bacteria genes to resist glyphosate, a weed killer that kills normal plants. This means that farmers can saturate their crops with this weed killer and it is absorbed into the plant. If your morning cereal has corn in it, you have an 89% chance of it being genetically modified and therefore contains weed killer. If your salad dressing has soy oil in it, you are having your salad with weed killer. Every time you drink soda that contains high fructose corn syrup, there is weed killer in your soft drink. Look at the ingredients in this baby formula. It is made up of corn and soy products. Why would you put weed killer into your baby's bottle? If these GMOs were so good for people, why would the industry have paid millions of dollars to defeat mandatory GMO labeling? What is hiding in your food? Oh, by the way, the USDA recently approved a genetically modified apple.